Education is for improving the lives of others and for leaving your community and the world better than you found it. To our school's division superintendent, Ma'am Marcet D. Sabaluca, CISO 6. To our public school's district supervisor, Ma'am Cleopatra C. Alegrado. To our newly elected municipal mayor, Honorable Ray R. Ruiz. To our barangay officials, headed by barangay captain, Honorable Apolonio L. Lopez. To our school principal, Ma'am Mona Lisa E. Canyonera. And to our teacher in charge, Ma'am Gemma O. Sabio. Teachers, parents, completers, and graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kaningai National High School Payawan Annex 7th Recognition and 13th Graduation Ceremony. Zig Ziglar once said, Sometimes, adversity is what you need to face in order to become successful. The pandemic has changed everything around the world. From our usual way of living to celebration of big events has suddenly shifted to new normal. This time has never been easy, but one thing we have realized is that neither crisis nor adversary of life could stop us from continuing professional development and progress. And this day signifies our passion, commitment, and resilience to move forward despite the tribulation brought by COVID-19. And with this year's graduation theme, K-12 graduates, pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome the Kaningai National High School Paiwan Annex in their processional march. To begin with, let us pay respect and tribute to the singing of Philippine National Anthem to be followed by a prayer, Negros Hymn and Division March. Let's bow our heads and place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering all of us today in this important event. Bless everyone present here today that each one of us may be able to share what he or she have for your glory and honor. We pray for our graduates today and lift them before you. We ask for your peace to cover them. We ask for laughter and joy to fill their days. We pray that you would give them boldness and courage to face challenges set before them with the confidence of peace that can only come from your spirit. Be a lamp for their feet and a light to their path 
shine over them, fill them with your spirit. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they embark on life's great adventure. May the various activities related to this event be a success through your intervention. We ask all of this in your name. Amen.
DepEd Vision. We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose competences and values enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. DepEd Mission to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Administrators and staff, as stewards of the institution, ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. DepEd Core Values Makadios, Makatao, Makakalikasan, at Makabansa Graduation ceremonies are the much-awaited events in the life of every learner as it represents the golden times of reaching higher education and achieving dreams and aspirations. As what Albert Hubbard has once said, dreams come true, but there is a secret. They are realized through the magic of persistence, determination, commitment, passion, practice, focus, and hard work. They happen a step at a time, manifested over years, not by weeks. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let us have Miss Angelica Tuting, one of this year's Completers Academic Awardee, to give us a warm welcome. This COVID-19 pandemic has changed our teaching learning process. However, this change does not stop us from achieving our success. To our school division superintendent, Sisu Six, Marcet D. Sabaloka, to our assistant school division superintendent in charge in South Negros, Lenny A. Pinaflor, to our public school district supervisor, Cleopatra C. Aligrado, to our beloved principal one, Mrs. Monaliza E. Canyonera, to our teachers headed by our teacher in charge, Mom Gemma O. Sabio, to the parents, guests, and to my fellow completers who are watching through our Facebook page, a pleasant day to all of us. This school year has been very tough and challenging. We miss the usual face-to-face -face setup. Homeschooling has become the new normal. Amidst all the circumstances, we, the batch 2021-2022 completers of CNH's Prime 1 Annex, are still so grateful for this memorable event of our junior high school years. My fellow completers, we are about to enter senior high school. We must do our best to reach our goals in life so we could pay and return the hardships of our parents. So let us continue our journey holding the hands of our Creator, our parents and loved ones. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so honored to have the opportunity to speak today. On behalf of our batch, I would like to welcome you all to the virtual graduation ceremony of St. H.S. Prime 1 Annex. Congratulations, Batch 2021-2022 Completers! Once again, welcome and a better day to all of us! Thank you, Miss Angelica, for that heartwarming welcome message. At this juncture, let us give the time and hear the message of our Division Superintendent, Regional Director, and Deputy Secretary in their words of felicitations. The brilliance of DepEd Region 6, Western Visayas, the home of the champions. The man behind the institutionalization of the regional mantra, every child is a champion. An advocate of sustainable economy and food security translated into the establishment of farm schools. A champion of teacher leadership through the establishment of School Heads Academy in Region 6. 
an initiator of educational innovation showdown across the region. The champion of champions, Dr. Ramir Barbera Noitico, Seso 3. My warmest congratulations to the completers and graduates of school year 2021-2022. To finish an academic year during this time of uncertainty is tough, but to outshine any challenge brings a step closer to one's aspirations and dreams. Flourishing and thriving through unforeseen tests without breaking makes one a true champion. And these have been proven in the midst of the pandemic and all remain victorious. My dear learners, always listen to your inner gods and goddesses. Follow your path and be the shakers who change the future and accept failures but come back strong. Do not stop surging for your success and what you can achieve tomorrow. And you will be beautifully changed the landscape of your future because you come from Region 6, where every child is a champion. This year's theme, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity, emphasizes that there is no greater joy in surpassing a year of challenged learning experiences. The knowledge you have acquired through unconventional modes is a proof that success defeats glitches. We thank the teachers, parents, and all members of the family, friends, education leaders, local executives, and the whole community for their relentless effort and persistence in molding the bright future of these learners. Together we unite, together we dream, and together we produce champions. Once again, congratulations. A man named Pierre once said, Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. At this time, let us have Manjema O. Sabio, Kaningai National High School Paiwan Annex, teacher in charge, to present the candidates for completion and to be confirmed by our school principal, Ma'am Mona Lisa E. Canyonera. Madam Marcet D. Sabaluka, CISO 6, Schools Division Superintendent, represented by Mona Lisa I. Canyonera, Principal 1 of Kaningai National High School, Maine. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion for the school year 2021-2022 of Kaningai National High School, Payawan Annex. Of whom 36 are male and 29 are female. A total of 65 junior high school completers. At this moment, certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the junior high school program under the K-12 basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. The candidates are now waiting for your confirmation. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Regional Director, Ramir B. Oitico, Schools Division Superintendent of Negros Occidental, Marcet D. Sabuluka, and Public Schools District Supervisor, Cleopatra C. Aligrado, and through the recommendation of the teacher in charge, Gemma O. Sabio of Kalingay National High School, Payawan Annex, I, Mona Lisa E. Canyonera, the Principal One of Kaningay National High School, 
do hereby confirm and approve the completion of 36 male and 29 female with a total of 65 students of Kalingay National High School Payawan Annex for school year 2021-2022. As such, they are now considered junior high school completers entitled to receive certificate with, with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congrats. And to give us our completers, let us have the grade 10 Emerald Advisor, Ma'am Isol J. D. Compendio. I am proud to present to you the completers of Batch 2021-2022. Abueva Elgin M. Acuna Mark B. Alidulia Geraldine C. Alora Jesse Jr. M. Bailon Rainier A. Minigay JBC. Bilyana Jr. Charlie N. Blase Kyle Lawrence R. Marles Herjan V. Castro Renan D. De La Cruz GNP. Dia Una July J. Itaba Glance Joshua G. Flores Justin G. Francisco J.M. O. Gawan Limuel R. Gregorio Janmark V. Hermosora Adrian Abilio. Hermosora Adrian Anunion. J.S. Loveras Archel G. Loveras Filomino C. Loveras Neumar M. Nemenzo Michael O. Uyangarin Gideon V. Presco Rajan G. Santinlo Kyle Nico B. Sarukam Ronel P. Similia John Paul M. Somes Rajan M. Tico Roman Jr. A. Zamora Jade E. And Zamora Jewel Jr. B. For female. Adding our name is Grace B. With honor. Agustino Mary Grace G. Alvior Angelica L. Balina Benajoy M. Cabarles Allen Joy V. Cabrera Therese S. Jonathan Jindros M. Stan Catherine Jane Marie B. With honors. Dahai Diana Christ S. Daulong Rachel C. Francisco Abigail M. With honors. Francisco Aleya M. With honors. Francisco J. Ann M. Gaspar Jenny P. Gimbal Mary F. 
Hermosora Shalame D. Ladimora Jinros C. Mangurai Roylen Marie B. Mortez Versel R. Nemenso Kimberly O. Pasyente Juvelin P. Kuntilan Omri G with honors. Joy P with honors. Rodriguez Princess R S with honors. Kenneth Kelly Glenn O with honors. Ruth Angelica B with honors. Obara Rosel P. Lilia Rosa Farley A. Zamora Jonah P. Congratulations! At this juncture, let us have Ma'am Gemma O. Sabio, our teacher in charge, to present to us our graduates. Madam Marcet D. Sabaluka, CISO 6, Schools Division Superintendent, represented by Pio Patra C. Aligrado, a public school district supervisor of Kandoni. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation for the school year 2021-2022 of Kaningay National High School Payawan Annex under track Humes, male 17, female 17, total 34. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the secondary program of the K-12 basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. May I therefore request you to confirm their graduation. And to confirm our graduates, let us have Ma'am Cleopatra C. Aligrado, our public schools district supervisor. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Department of Education through the Regional Director of Western Visayas, Dr. Amir B. Oitiko, through the Schools Division Superintendent, Division of Negros Occidental, Ma Marcet D. Sabaloka, and by the recommendation of the secondary school in charge, Mrs. Jima Osabio. I, Cleopatra Campos Aligrado, Public Schools District Supervisor, District of Kanduni, do hereby accept and confirm the graduation of these 33 candidates of TVL Track, Humanities, and Social Sciences, 16 of whom are males and 17 are females, with a total of 33, having been satisfactorily completed the minimum requirements as prescribed by the Basic Education curriculum this school year 2021-2022 and as such these candidates these graduates are entitled to receive this certificate of graduation with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto congratulations dear graduates and you may now transfer your tassels to the right side and to give us our graduates let us have my mercy galvan grade 12 gold advisor Good afternoon, everyone. I'm proud to present to you the graduating class for the school year 2021-2022. May, my Lord Ryan A. Binigay Michael John C. Isanias Alexander A. Viliana Krasyan N. Gawan Jan Paul R. Hermosora Denisio Jr. E. Hermosora Janmar A. Ires Jelo Q. Lampa Janrad F. Lisuan Krasyan S. Class Salutatorian. Noblesa Rachel Yokes B. Sikinia Gelbert C. Talundata Eric James A. Tuting Janfel B. 
Tribo Terence V. And Tropicales Joseph S. For the female, Alianic Geraldine B. Al Puerto Jodeline C. With honors. Azucena Ria Asmer D. Bordago Maria Angel C. Cabarles Julian D. Class Valedictorian. Kalooy Chuname L. With honors. Austin Tevlin Rose B. With honors. Fernandez Charmaine A. Perolino Jovelin J. With honors. Francisco Anamari M. With honors. Lucero Mariel R. Mayordomo Geneva A. Nobleza Michelle D. With honors. Salvan Babelin A. And Villarosa Nora A. That's all for our graduating class. Thank you so much and congratulations everyone. A famous strongman and celebrity named Dwayne The Rock Johnson said, Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. In this moment, let's lend our ears to hear the words of inspiration from our guest speaker. And to introduce to us our guest speaker, let us have Ma'am Ellen Grace L. Carman, Grade 7 Saturn Advisor. If one takes a closer look at the alchemy of achieving person, two distinct virtues pop up besides perseverance and hard work. These are pioneering spirit and willingness. Our guest speaker for today was born on March 8, 1998 at Minalbaga Negros Occidental. Finished her elementary education at Payawan Elementary School being a salutatorian school year 2010-2011. She spent her secondary education at Kaningay National High School Payawan Annex as valedictorian for school year 2014-2015. And pursued her tertiary education at Central Philippine State University taking a bachelor in secondary education major in mathematics and awarded us magna cum laude. She is currently employed as a registrar and at the same time taking up her master's degree at the said university. She is the daughter of Mr. Jimmy and Mrs. Rosbetti Agustin. With great pleasure, our guest speaker, a licensed teacher, our very own, Miss Marivic Talido Agustin. Life is like math. It is full of equations that includes both negatives and positives. Nonetheless, it's beautiful once it's being simplified and modified. To the teacher in charge of Taningay National High School, Payawan Annex, Ma'am Gemma O. Sabio, to the teaching forces and staff, to all guests and friends, to all officials who are witnessing today, and to our proud parents, and especially to the graduating class of 2021-2022, good morning and a blessed day. As I am given this privilege to share to you my experiences, I am hoping that I am able to inspire, remind, and encourage you all that you are all capable. As today's theme says, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. I want to leave you this and I want you to understand this. Life is all about processes that tends to consume and erratically fatigues us all. So always remember, once you started your fights, never stop because you are resilient enough to finish it. Because life is not about how good you are at the beginning or how you work better in the middle. It's all about starting it to finish it. So you need to go on and continue. 
I already had my experiences since elementary, high school, college, up until I took the board exam. There are a lot of trials that comes my way. But nonetheless, I am here. I fight for my dream. I stand with it. Because I have my parents. They have supported me enough. Gani, kung pigado ka man, kung ano man ang imo problema, kung ano man ang kakulangan sang imo ginikanan, it's not the reason nga mauntat ka. You need to find a way out there. Kay kabudlay na daan sa imo nga sitwasyon, mapabilin ka pa nga amusina. Hindi ka maguntat because your diploma will always be yours. Your credentials will always be yours. Hindi para sa buwas damlag sang iban, kundi para sa buwas damlag mo and best kung makabulig ka sa imo ginikanan. It's normal that there, there were unexpected trials and hindrances that comes your way, but again, continue to go on and fight for your dreams. Because kabudlay nga magpabilin ka sa sitwasyon nga no choice ka man Japan. Study and invest for your future. To all graduates, learn to have a dream. Then fight and die for that dream that you have. Ipaglaban mo, hawakan mo palagi ang pangarap mo. Because no one else will do that for you. Ikaw lang at ikaw ang makakatupad ng pangarap mo, whatever. Or in any way to do it, ikaw lang ang tutupad niyan. And if ever the world upset you so much, like giving up is the only choice to grab, look at the faces of your parents and the people behind your back or behind your fights. They are tired enough more than you, they have done the effort more than you, and they deserve something in return. Always keep that in mind and put that in your mind. Before I conclude everything in here, I just want to leave you this. No matter how hard life could be, always continue. Embrace the beauty of all the circumstances that you face in life, including all the changes that you face, adapt to it and embrace its beauty. And lastly, to all graduates, my congratulations and salute to all of you for reaching this far. You are strong, you are brave, and you are brilliant enough from day one until the reaping season that you are in now. You may continue to grow and strive for the future for the people who believe in you. Make your alma mater proud, make your advisors proud, make your parents proud, and especially make yourself proud. My congratulations again and God bless to your next journey. A pleasant afternoon to everyone. Graduation is a time of reflecting on the past and looking onward to the future. It is a time that we as graduates get together for one last time before moving on to bigger and better adventure. It is my deepest gratitude to the Lord who stood by us through this challenging part of our lives. He gave us the strength to face all hardships, courage and hope in our hearts, and never leave us in our darkest hours. To my parents, thank you for guiding, loving, encouraging, and supporting me for everything. To my mother, you have never pressured me to get a high grades. Instead, you are happy and contented with a passing mark in my subject. Ma, thank you because you're the one who told me that I can do better. And to my father, who has sacrificed a lot just to show his love and support for us, thank you so much. And now, I want to say that, Ma, Pa, this is the fruit for all of your sacrifices. To my siblings, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude and genuine appreciation for all things that you've done. To our teachers, thank you for believing in us and for serving as our inspiration to pursue our dreams. Thank you for not giving up on us, for being our second parents. All memories you have shared with us will be forever treasured in our hearts, whenever and wherever we go. To my fellow graduates, well, we did it. We all accomplished one of the major early milestones of our lives. Guys, thank you, because without all of you, my senior high school will not be enjoyable and completed. I will miss those days we laughed together, cried, and bonded to each other. 
Fellow graduates, you must remember that with or without medal, graduating in senior high school is already a big achievement. I am saying this to inspire you to give your best in everything. And always remember your parents and things that you do. I'm pretty sure that they are really proud of you. As I end this message, fellow graduates, be strong, fight in, soar high, and never stop dreaming. It seems to be over, but a new and long journey awaits us. Enjoy life as well as your plan. Make new paths and live your life to the fullest. Congratulations, everyone. I am Julianne de la Cruz Cobarles, class valedictorian, batch 2021-2022, saying that life is not a matter of chance, but a matter of choice. It's not a matter of your destiny. It's a matter of your decision. God bless you all. Church of Loyalty, with solemn sense of responsibility and steadfast loyalty. We, the graduates of the school year 2021-2022, do hereby solemnly swear to hold our diploma as a sacred trust to uphold the name of our school with untarnished honor to be useful citizens, to serve God with humility and faithfulness, with fidelity to my country and my fellow men to so help us God. Hail cunning idea, for thee will fight and die. We thy loyal sons and daughters all will always heed to thy earnest call. March unto glory for fame and victory. Onwards the onwards to the world's wide golden fields Our aims are high to reach our goal The Lord will guide us to heed thy call Dear alma mater, beloved school Noble is thy name to keep our love aflame Every time we sing this song to thee our brave hearts beat sweetly onward our dear school for thee will fight and die onward still onwards the world's red golden fields our aims are high to reach our goal the lord will guide us to hear thy call dear alma mater beloved school my heartfelt congratulations to all the competitors and graduates of the school year 2021-2022. You are now ready to face a new challenge, a new chapter in your quest to education amidst the adversities we have encountered due to the pandemic. These past two years have been very challenging to each of us. We have transitioned from the traditional way of learning to the different learning modalities to ensure that your right to educate is pursued while looking after your welfare. I express my admiration and appreciation to all the education experts, dedicated educators, supportive parents, and guardians who become their children's home learning partners, stakeholders, and to your dear student. Thank you for all the hard work, time, and effort you have dedicated for this school year. It is now time to harvest the fruit of your labor. This success is greatly attributed to their qualities that have been developed in each of us. Straightened by challenges, being resilient, especially in these trying times. Our theme for this year's graduation came to 12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Graduates ng K-12 masigasig sa mga pangarap at matatag sa mga pagsubo reminds each of us to continue dreaming not just for ourselves but for our families and those around us. Pursuing our dreams is not easy, 
This is why we need to be resilient. Each of us must learn how to overcome challenges, no matter how big or small they are. My dear learners, bear in mind that you are the hope of our nation. Your dreams will soon become the fulfillment of your parents, of your community, and our country. Always believe in the beauty of what you can do and that all dreams are possible as long as have faith and do your part as well. Once again, congratulations. Mabuhay ang mga mga kagraduate sa K-12. A pleasant day to everyone. Thank you, Mom. And finally, to formally close our graduation ceremony, let us have Ma'am Israel Don G. Vigno for a closing prayer. Heavenly Father, you are mighty and powerful, gracious and merciful, holy and kind. How awesome and great are the works of your hands. Thank you for being with us today, for guiding us in our year-end ceremony. It is successful because of you. Thank you for all those who worked hard for this event. To our speaker, guests, and school leaders, we give thanks to you as we celebrate for the completers and graduates of this school year. To acknowledge and reward the fruition of their hard work and determination. Thank you for keeping them safe when they studied and for watching over them, even though the challenges of distance learning are great. Indeed, O Lord, you are the source of our strength. May they enjoy and share their achievements with family and friends. And as they embark soon on a new journey with new people, new experiences, new opportunities, and new challenges, may you remind them to stay humble and always be grateful to their parents, teachers, and this institution who helped them grow. And as each of us move forward to new horizons, we held your promise close to our hearts that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Help us continue to strive for excellence, to never stop learning and dreaming, to become good citizens that contribute to nation building. May our day-to-day -day actions be an act of worship to your name. All these things we fervently ask to you, our Lord and Savior, Amen. The two greatest challenges humans face throughout their lives are the challenge of where to start and the challenge of when to stop. Everyone, this concludes the 7th completion and 13th graduation ceremony of Kaningai National High School Payawan Annex School Year 2021-2022. Thank you very much and God bless.